Are you ready to relax and enjoy the splendor of a bedtime story before you fall asleep? You are listening to Castle in the Sky, a calm fantasy sleep story for grown-ups. Journey to a land of fairy cliffs where rock formations pierce the cotton candy skies at sunset. During your special visit, a set of spiral stairs through the clouds appears to lead you to a castle in the sky. The moonstone and marble castle is far away from earthly concerns. You discover the perfect moonlit spot above the clouds to enjoy the best sleep. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, imagine I am the voice of a loving guide and longtime friend. Whenever you embark on a journey in the sanctuary, you are reminded of your ability to self-soothe and imagine better. You deserve to use your creative mind for good rather than worry and concerns that interrupt your peace. The part of you that is open to the beauty in the world and looks at life through a positive lens will help you most enjoy a rich life. You deserve to heal and relax at the end of each day. And as you unwind, tune deeply into the sensory perceptions that connect you with the simple wonders of being alive. No time is more precious to set the tone for the night than right now. You create your intentions before you slip beyond the veil to transition between your waking and dreaming life. Tailor this experience in a way that best suits what you are looking for right now. You may drift to sleep and allow my voice to fade away at any point. And even if you fall asleep before the story ends, your subconscious mind may embrace the whimsy and hope contained to inspire your dreams. Settle into your bed and feel your body become heavy and surrender. Sink into the support of your mattress. It's just one of many things that have aligned to support you in this calming practice. Open your mouth and yawn. You can fake it at first but soon you will find that each yawn comes easily. Let that yawn turn into a sigh as you let go of everything. Observe any tension, unnecessary thoughts, and lingering aspects from the day as they drift away into the boundless space of night. Then sip in a deep breath of air, imagining what it would be like to fill your lungs with a pristine air atop a cliff at sunset. Savor each moment as this breath becomes a tonic sending the message to every cell in your body 
that it is time to take a well-earned holiday. Open your mouth and yawn, and then sigh, making a sound if it enhances your experience and helps you go deeper into a state of relaxation. Continue with two more rounds of this breathing pattern at your own pace as you inhale, yawn, and sigh, inviting peace into your body as it expands. An expansive sky is your inspiration as your torso inflates to its utmost capacity. Feel the lightness of being that comes from letting go and nurturing yourself. As you inhale, yawn, and sigh. When you are ready, return your breath to normal recognizing how wonderful it is to shift your state of mind and being with one single breath in a state of harmony and deep connection with yourself. It's time to indulge in a fantasy sleep story. Not many people find their way to the land of fairy cliffs with ease. Some hear about the lengths required to travel to this idyllic setting and talk themselves out of making the trek. But legend has it that for hundreds of years, on the cusp of a full moon, a mystical series of spiral stairs would descend from the clouds at sunset and land on the highest cliff known as Mother Cliff. The limestone and sandstone cave walls of this sacred valley, deep within the fairy cliffs, are covered in murals depicting early aquamarine steps leading to a castle above the clouds. Like many things in life, the trek to the fairy cliffs was far easier than all the overthinking and anxiety one might have when considering such a grand adventure. And this is why you simply took a leap of faith quieting the voices in your mind and replacing them with a mental image of yourself standing above the cotton candy clouds of sunset. As you indulged in this fantasy, you reveled in visualizing the dreamy palette of colors and the sense of accomplishment you would feel just below their zenith. You arrive at the sacred valley with ease. Having traveled by caravan through a desert at night, to arrive at the coastal village in the morning, the late afternoon sun pours over you in lustrous honeyed light. You dress in billowing layers made of breathable fabric. The sun warms your exposed skin as a tepid breeze travels through the threads of your linen attire and kisses your skin. The air smells sweet and salty, aromatized by abundant native honeysuckle and the nearby sea. Dozens of fairy cliffs 
grow out of the rich red earth, sculpted like the tips of fairy wings. In some ways, they remind you of seaside castles made from handfuls of dripping sand set out to dry in the sun. It isn't hard to find Mother Cliff, for it rises twice as high as the surrounding formations and shimmers brightest in the last of afternoon light. The promise of peace and serenity is so great that you have taken the path less traveled, even though it requires more of you. You want to believe in the magic of a castle in the sky and that yearning brings an unmatchable level of determination and fortitude. And as you approach the base of Mother Cliff, you recognize that you are more driven by love and hope than by fear. You begin the ascent, knowing you have ample time to reach the peak before the enchanting light of golden hour, when the stairs often appear. You stay consistent, one step at a time, and change the mental lens through which you view the challenges of the climb. Your muscles are tired, but instead of a mind burdened with complaints, you celebrate their soft burn and are overcome with gratitude that you have the stamina and good health to make the climb. Every step becomes a victory as it brings you one step and one breath closer to the panoramic vista and secretly you hope brings you closer to the chance to explore the castle in the sky. The path is dusty and covered with red-brown stones that make it easy for your shoes to grip the earth. Mounds of stone rise around you as you walk through a narrow grassy canyon. The tall grasses sway in the breeze, whispering the encouragement for you to continue. The grasses brush against your legs with a gentle massage. You place your hands on the stone walls to balance, feeling the heat they retain from the afternoon sun. You run your hand across the gritty rock and trace the lines of color that change the higher you ascend. The ribbons of color roll in waves of amber, scarlet, taupe, burgundy, and sienna brown. And the sweet perfume of honeysuckle permeates the gently flowing air. Many of the surrounding formations have caves that once served as homes. But on this trek, you are the only person you have come in contact with. You arrive at a summit and pause to take in the views of the fairy cliffs and valley, now standing higher than all the other rock formations. You take in a deep breath and smile, 
as the sun dips lower and casts the panorama in gilded light. I trust that you will arrive before the sun disappears completely and continue upward on the arduous path. Time escapes you and you round the last bend, overcome with new thoughts and ideas that replace the typical chatter of your mind. You become aware of your thoughts and are grateful for this awareness. For you are so much more than these ideas that race around your head. You are full of life and each breath and beat of your heart reminds you as you come to the peak of Mother Cliff. From here, you can see the distant sapphire waves of the sea to the east and the desert you traveled through to the west. Wispy clouds ride in on the breeze and you stand in their cool mist. The sun lowers beyond the horizon and the sky erupts in pastel pink, vibrant orange, raspberry, lavender, periwinkle and amethyst as puffy clouds arrive. You stand among the spinning swirls of color and take a deep breath. You close your eyes and feel the healing energy of Mother Cliff, your feet rooted and steady while the crown of your head tingles with aliveness and your arms rise overhead to stretch. Standing among the clouds, high above the valley and sea, you open your eyes and see the soft glow of a full moon rising as the sun slips away. A glimmering shade of peachy pink. The moon reminds you of a cantaloupe. Shining through the gradient of pink, purple, and orange sky. The dreamy palette makes you feel light and ethereal. As you stand on the peak and watch as a corkscrew of sparkling blue light descends from the sky. The glittering particles come together to form an aquamarine staircase. Beneath the creamsicle-hued clouds, you cannot see the fortress but somehow know it will be there. And so you ascend the spiraling stairs with hope, climbing more than you have ever climbed before, winding around and through the clouds as the cool condensation settles on your face and arms. You rise above the lower clouds, feeling lighter with each step. As if freed from gravity, you begin to float and hover above the remaining steps. It feels as though you are entering a portal 
into another world. You land at the end of a walkway made of rose quartz. From shades of pinkish ivory to rose pink and salmon, you wander what is considered to be the path of unconditional love. You take in the healing vibrations of the rose quartz path. Whether real or imagined, their healing powers matter not. Because your mind is so strong that simply pretending is enough for your body to feel safe and nurtured by loving energy. Bubblegum pink and light purple clouds hover above the walkway. The air is cool and misty. It smells clean, yet feels otherworldly. And though you walk alone, you pick up on the energy of all those who have experienced the same. The remnants of their healing journeys present in whispers about how lucky you are to be of the brave souls to make it this far. The sky darkens and the breeze clears the clouds away with intention guided by an unknown force to reveal the castle in the sky. A pegasus flies before the moonstone gates. Her large fluttering wings clear the last remaining clouds to reveal a twilight sky. Moonlight reflects off the iridescent railings surrounding the castle. The pegasus lands on the rose quartz path and you intuitively glean that the mythical creature is here to offer you a ride. How peculiar it is to be offered help long after you have traipsed on foot and climbed throughout the day. And yet, excitement and gratitude fill your heart as the pegasus lowers her grand silvery white wings and bows down. You carefully pull your body over her muscular back and wrap your arms around her velvety white neck. She inhales deeply, and you do as well, and then takes flight in the sapphire sky. Together you fly around the moonstone towers of the castle that overlook the vast sapphire sea below. The deep shades of blue from the sky Reflect off the white marble walls of the castle. The glow of the full moon creates a halo around the palace. Your linen attire billows and flows behind you, taken by the evening air. Your stomach rises into your chest. 
your heart flutters and your insides tickle gleefully. You smile and laugh as a child does when having the sensation riding over rolling hills for the first time. You feel free. You feel happy. For thousands of years, the Pegasus has represented the ability of the human imagination to transcend life on Earth and peer into the magical beauty that goes beyond everyday life. The ebony eyes of the Pegasus twinkle with determination and deep wisdom. And as the strong animal glides towards the castle grounds, her iridescent corn silk tail hypnotically fans out on the breeze. Moonbow's form as lunar light refracts in wispy clouds that dance around the castle. The Pegasus's ebony hooves land among the moonbows, and the majestic creature comes to stillness, and once again bows down. You lift your leg over her spine and slide down her muscular body. You stop to lovingly thank her and stroke her white mane as she stands to full attention. She leans her muzzle towards your face and you hug her, pressing your forehead against hers. You inform her this is an experience you will always remember. The Pegasus reminds you how important it is to be creative and imaginative. For many problems are more easily solved by an imagination than they are by a critical mind. And of course, beguiling adventures are more readily enjoyed. You say goodbye and the Pegasus takes off with her mystical friends in the sky. Flying through the clouds and towards the moon. The castle grounds sparkle with white marble fountains that shoot out turquoise water that reflects the moonlight. Lotus flowers glide across floating pools. Their lush petals covered in iridescent beads of water. You saunter across the grounds to the entrance to the castle and stand before the moonstone door. You run your hand down the cool, lustrous white stone, known to impart inner clarity, awaken intuition, and channel hope, like the rose quartz, like the pastel softness of sunset. It evokes a healing, divine feminine energy. You feel liberated to let down your guard and embrace the softness within you. 
it becomes easier to breathe and flow through space. When you embrace the serene comfort of this energy, you place your hand on the polished rose quartz knob and open the gleaming white doors into the palace. You feel as if you have been here before, or maybe you experienced this kind of whimsical beauty in stories told to you as your young mind was developing. You reconnect with the feeling of wonder you once felt when imagining soaring above the clouds and encountering magical beings, an ethereal woman with long flowing hair dressed in a chiffon gown the color of the moon, sits by stained glass windows that are open onto the night. Many of the hundreds of windows in the castle are comprised of stained glass that recreate the most beautiful scenes to be found in the sky and in nature. The woman is unaware of your presence, lost in the strings of her golden harp. The sweet melody causes your body to sway. It takes a while before you realize that you are moving to her sound. Though wordless, the song of the harp imparts a feeling of authentic love. The vibrations of the music radiate all over your body. Pleasant goosebumps form on your skin and the muscles in your face relax. Your jaw softens and your mouth forms a smile as you let out a sigh. The harp player turns her face to you as her slender fingers continue gently plucking the shimmering strings. She smiles kindly. Delicate lines form around her eyes. The image of a woman who has smiled and laughed often throughout her life. She mouths the word welcome, and then turns her gaze back to the moon and her attention to her nocturnal song. You wander through the wide halls of the castle, traveling from room to room, sealing murals and paintings hung on the white marble walls reimagine the heavenly sky. The castle rooms are lofty and their colorful windows open out onto the night. Sheer ivory and bright white chiffon drapes soften the brilliant moonlight and undulate on the breeze like gossamer. Clouds rise around the castle walls and open windows in delicate white wisps. Clouds rise around the castle walls and pass by open windows in delicate white wisps 
floating through the night. The night sky breathes in an ever-changing rhythm of its own design. You pass through a library with shelves that run wall to ceiling overflowing with books cast in the amber light of a fire in the stone fireplace. You enter the room and walk to a blue agate table to discover a heavy book thousands of thin pages edged with gold. Your index finger leaves through the pages and randomly lands on a passage with words written in an elegant handwritten font. passage is a quote from Rumi, only from the heart can you touch the sky. You feel a warm wave of energy radiate through your heart center, knowing that it was your heart that took you on this journey. It is your heart that helped you commit to each step without any guarantee and yet you made it here to the castle in the sky. You feel both appreciative and quite tired as you leave the library and follow the wide hallway to the skylight room. Stars glitter across the navy blue sky through the glass ceiling. There are more stars than you have ever seen. One of them shoots across the sky. And you think about all the wishes made by children when they first learn that stars are for wishing. And with a childlike spirit, and with the fortitude of a resilient soul, you look to the stars and make a wish specifically for you. Perhaps the wish is so personal that no one ever needs to know. You may nurture it and tend to it in the garden of your mind and in the sanctuary of your sleeping and dreaming life. A plush pastel carpet in hues of a sunset sky lined with gold fringe cascades down a grand marble staircase that leads to the wing of bedroom suites. You climb the stairs the last climb of the day that will come with a reward of sleep. The plush piles of the rug make it feel like you are walking on clouds. You arrive at the landing and wander down a hallway with wall to ceiling windows that look out on to the turquoise water of the fountains and the dreamy night clouds rolling in. And far off in the distance, 
you see the silhouette of the Pegasus and her friends flying before the full moon. You approach the double doors to a bedroom suite and your hands land on two sky blue doorknobs made of smooth celestite crystal. The doors open and a soft breeze meets you. The room is airy and cozy at the same time. The soporific blue celestite crystals comprise the four posters of a king-sized bed, celestial blues, and varying shades of white accent the room. You approach an armoire that has a mosaic of blue and pearly white gemstones on its doors. You open it to discover a satiny, lightweight robe that you change into. The fabric is so soft on your skin, it almost feels as if you are wearing nothing at all. Double doors open onto a private terrace where you discover an outdoor clawfoot tub surrounded by wispy clouds overlooking the stars and moon. You dip your fingers into the water and the temperature is perfect for you. You inhale and smell the lavender and chamomile oil that have been poured into the bath water. As you undress and submerge yourself in the healing, silky bath water, your muscles feel lighter and more relaxed than they have in a long time. You close your eyes and feel as if you are floating across a sapphire sea. You surrender to the flow of the tide and then imagine yourself being transported to the night sky drifting across it with the ease and grace of a pegasus. You can hear the quiet melody of the harp, joined by the distant sound of the ocean. You open your eyes and look at the sky one last time, knowing the heaviness of your eyelids and the sleepiness you feel will take over, but when they do, the awe-inspiring images encountered throughout this magical day will reappear in your dreams. You rise out of the tub and dry off with a heavenly towel and slip back into the lightweight robe. You drift across the terrace and into the bedroom suite within moments you are tucked beneath the lush comforter and sinking into the pillowy mattress. 
your lids heavily fall on your tired eyes and you sink deeper and deeper down into the softness of this moment. You are the most comfortable you could ever be. And you inhale and sigh with the night. Your exhale is like the wind that ushers you across the sky and across the bridge to your sleeping life, finding peace, finding respite, Finding bliss, finding sleep, it's time to dream away.